new art gallery is opening in Myrtle Beach. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live to give us a sneak peek. So we are right here, very exciting, getting ready for a new gallery opening. And Peter, this will be your gallery, and you are right in the middle of give, getting everything set up, ready to welcome in people, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So talk about what you do and what people will experience here. So I've been a stained glass artist since I'm 15. That's 47 years. <laughs> and this is my 10th gallery, actually. I've, I've had nine in Myrtle Beach. So... On February 9th and the 9th of every month, we're having an opening this Thursday on the 9th for my glass work. I love that. Yeah. So your 10th one here in Myrtle Beach, very exciting. And let's show off uh, a couple of your, you know, pieces of work here. Yeah. So you've I, been doing this since you were 15. Yeah. That is incredible. I started driving Volkswagens when I was 12. And one of my goals is to have a Volkswagen show here in uh -huh. Myrtle Beach, VW.cool. I like it. And so I made this one especially for that, you know, to just remember the innovators of the people who've traveled across the country and families that have been together with all their stories. So this gallery is going to be like a local roots clubhouse oh, for neat. innovators and artisans and families. I love that. I know you're excited too about being down here in the arts and innovation district, you know, getting oh, yeah. everything coming down here to Myrtle Beach. Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. I, I used to drive a Volkswagen. Well, really? What yeah. kind? Uh, a little cabriolet. Lots of fun. Top uh, comes down in the summer. I miss that okay, car. So but it was a little uh, in my heart. convertible? Yes. Like the sun. Yes. The yes. Wind in your hair. Yes, absolutely. Good vibes, right? Yes, absolutely. We have to bring a picture of you in it when we have our festival. I will do that. I like it. So happening here on the ninth and the ninth of every month, and got a Volkswagen. Got to get in touch. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. We were both kind of. Uh, starstruck yeah. over the stained glass and uh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. The gallery event is this Thursday from 4 until 9. Now we do have a link with more details on the surfboard section of WPDE.com. It's a day to appreciate art and hard work. A new art gallery is opening in Myrtle Beach this week. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth has given us a sneak peek. Yes, Peter, you have been here for a very long time, and this is actually, you know, one of your 10th gallery that you're opening here in Myrtle Beach, and show off some of the amazing things that you do and yeah. what you use in your work. So I'd love to show some of the things that I put in my work. Uh, the gallery is called Nine Dot Gallery, because <laughs> I started thinking about the feminine, Mother, Mother Earth, and so I love... I love using stones from, from the earth. This is an agate from Brazil. You can see there's a little heart in it. So beautiful. And crystals. Uh, all kinds of optical orbs. One of my favorite things to do is I love putting Volkswagen hubcaps in windows. <laughs> <laughs> and this is oh, wow. a hand-blown rondelle and so i love using found objects seashells crystals blown discs all types of orbs but i really love using the agates from brazil the most natural and if you look close here these are all leaves that i found in pennsylvania on an old uh, vintage store and about five years i came back it was raining and i put them in a little newspaper and I mentioned to the man I said you know I made a, a table with those leaves and he said you know when, when you walked out of here I said he'll never do anything with those leaves <laughs> but I just think it's amazing that they're all captured in the table I know I noticed that it is so beautiful and you, you have a picture of Bob Grissom too yeah I want to just give a big shout out to <laughs> to Robert Grissom Bob Grissom one of the true innovators of the Grand Strand he supported the arts big time. We, we had shows from artists from all over the world, one artist at a time, and he gave us six keys to the city. He was never late. The brother was so hospitable. I would see him traveling around the country. I'd be on planes with Bob, and he literally loved his people, loved our city, and, and especially the Hardisons of the Grand Strand. I love that, and I can tell that you love the area too, and obviously, you know, getting your out 
artwork out there, your beautiful stained glass. You wanted to say hi to my mom? Oh. Wow, mom, <laughs> the divine feminine. Thank you. Love it. So sweet. The gallery event is this Thursday from 4 until 9. Now we do have a link with details on the surfboard section of WPDE.com. A new art gallery is opening in Myrtle Beach. ABC 15's Amanda Kinzith is live giving us a sneak peek this morning. And it is all about light paintings and stained glass. And I'm really nervous because we're holding this big piece of glass right now. <laughs> uh, three quarter inch plate. All yeah, it's huge, it's thick. And then I sand the little edges, it's like ice. It's amazing. Yeah. And you use that to make, you know, tables. Yeah, all the tables that I make here. It took about 16 years to learn how to develop it. Wow. What I think is amazing is that the sun is not out. It's so early that that sun is not out. Right. But here at 515 Broadway, when that sun comes up, it comes through all this dichroic glass and makes rainbows through this room in the morning and with you loving yoga. So beautiful, yes. Rainbow yoga. <laughs> I love it. That, that is such a great concept. Chitoyan effervescent <laughs> rainbow yoga. Yes. It's got to be a thing. And something amazing that you have pointed out to us this morning is, um, first of all, you have this amazing type of, you know, glass in here and it looks one way while we're yeah. in here. It's called dichroic. Where the, wherever the dominant light is, it shuts down and reflects and passes through at the same time. So if you're able to look at this glass and zoom in on it, the dominant light is here in the gallery. The, the ribbon flame here and the rainbow around the flower of life here is shut down. And if we can go yeah, outside... Yeah, so remember those colors because this is going to blow your mind. It's going to look completely different. Yeah, memorize those colors so you can see what it's like because now it's going to pass through because it's dark outside. I still... I mean, we've looked at this a few times. It's still... It's so amazing. That blows my mind. This is from Sacred Geometry, the Flower of Life. And this is one of the original symbols for eternity. So... Uh, sacred design, eternity, and the flower, the, the flower of life, the fruit of life. But you can see how these colors are completely different from the, from the inside. I love it. So beautiful. And you can come check it out on the 9th of this month, and actually every month, 515 uh, Broadway Street. Yeah. I like to call it the original Broadway at the beach. <laughs> Very true. It was here first. <laughs> Now, the gallery event is this Thursday, like Amanda said, from 4 until 9. We have a link with more details on the surfboard section of WPDE.com. It's a day to appreciate art and hard work. A new art gallery is opening in Myrtle Beach this week. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live giving us a sneak peek this morning. Hey, yes, you can come to the grand opening on the 9th and events the 9th of every month. And Peter, I have to say, this is one of the coolest places that we've ever hung out in the morning. <laughs> this is great, and it's amazing. You have so many beautiful things surrounding us, too. Yeah. Thank you. And you're sitting in the Doc Cool chair. The Doc Cool chair? Yeah. My friend Jess Johnson, you're sitting on the dot. <laughs> Here's the dot. Here's the C. Here's one of the O's. The other O dot C O O L. I love that. <laughs> and that's the name of this show, Glass dot Cool. Glass dot Cool. Yeah, yeah, not dot com dot Cool. Dot Cool, did and you know, it is cool. Did you know there was a dot Cool on the internet? Not until now. <laughs> well, you like you like playing with the sun? I I do I do. Okay, you be the sun. This is really neat. Okay, I'm the sun. So these are sun toys, and then I have a gift for you when we seal this up. Okay. I made these about 30 years ago, and uh, when you play outside with it, you can the sun will come down and say on a pavement, but here, here we have a little chance to be able to bend some light because uh, all of my glass panels are like lenses, and so these are these these are little toys that you can play with to be able to. 
I love that. It is so neat. And that's really what a lot of your artwork is about, is that beautiful glass and not just what it looks like, but how it, you know, decorates the walls and yeah. everything when the light comes through. Yeah. And you have the coolest business cards ever, yeah. too. <laughs> so all of my business cards and, and invitations for this show, I handmade them, I hand painted them, hand etched them, and this one is for you. It's very special. You see the little nine on it? Feminine. Big shout out to all the women that are running our city, our mayor, chief of police, chamber of commerce, downtown alliance, and this is a projector system. <sighs> All right, the gallery event is this Thursday from 4 until 9. And we do have a link with more details on the surfboard section of WPDE.com.